Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. This is the fourth video I've done this afternoon. As I've said in a previous video, I can't do very long ones because I'm holding the tablet in one hand and I tend to get cramp. So I'm having to do lots of short videos to show you things I want to show you. Uh, I'd like to say hello to all my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you on board. Lovely to have you all on board. I'm so pleased that people have been enjoying my videos since I started the channel just a um, week before last. I've had a tremendous response. I've had some lovely comments. I've had lots of subscribers and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about it all, I must say. Today, I want to show you something that I've been working on over the weekend. It's an accordion envelope folder. Uh, I, I first saw Dee, who is a Betsy Doodle on YouTube, making one of these. And I've also watched Nina, who is Nina Ribina on YouTube, watch them making these. So, if you would like a tutorial on them, please go over to see those two ladies. And you'll be able to see how to make it. I can't do a tutorial, I'm afraid, because I've only got the one hand, because the other one's holding the tablet. Anyway, it's, I'll try and show you as best I can. Basically, it's the envelopes. It's good for using up, you know, if you've got lots and lots of spare envelopes. Uh, seal them and cut the end off each one so that you can open them. And then bind them round each side. I've used uh, some duct tape. I'll show you the duct tape that I used. This is from Hobbycraft. I got this and it's a French design. I hadn't used it before so I thought this is ideal to, to bind the envelopes to make them stronger because I do want to use this for something. I, I did have a lot of trouble with my envelopes getting very, um, my scissors sorry, getting very sticky using it. But I wiped them with a tumble dryer sheet and no problem at all after that. So if, if your scissors do get all gunged up uh, using this sort of thing, just wipe them with a tumble dryer sheet. So th that is what I used along the edges there. Then along the top, again to make it a lot stronger, I used this lovely tape. Can you see the, the lovely blue purple flowers on it? And, and that was a tape. My daughter bought me a collection of tapes. I don't know if it is in there. All these from Paper Chase. They're beautiful. She, she bought me some a bag of embellishments to match as well. So that's that's what was on there. And then they were stuck together to uh, to make the pockets. I use red liner tape. Hopefully they'll stay stuck together. Then the cover, the mixed media cover. It isn't a drop sheet or anything. I made it specially for this. I cut the, some cream card to size. And I've dabbed it with... I've got some sponge dabbers. I use these two different sizes. With some yellow Ducrafts Artiste acrylic paint. I use that. And I use this one which is a pearl, it's absolutely beautiful to use, it really is. This white, it's, it's just some acrylic paint, Dale around me, that is. And I used this to stamp these circles here. Now this children's toy brick, it's about 40 years old. It belonged to my son. He's 40 now. So it's nearly 40 years old. And he had a bucket of bricks. And that's what it was called. I don't know if they still do them now. Um, and 
I kept one because I had um, a chest of drawers, a bedside chest of drawers, and one of the casters fell off. And for many, many years, that one side was propped up on this. And then I got rid of it, and I thought, hmm, I was into this mixed media by then. I thought, hmm, I could keep that. As you do, you can see a use for everything. So I kept it, and I've used it quite a lot. And see, with the, the white dots, that's what I used for that. And then I've used, that's some gold. This there, again, it's, um, oh, sorry, it's rolling about. Uh, do Crafts Artiste Acrylic Paint. Metallic gold. And I used this for these circles. Sometimes they come out with more of the region, but it is actually, <laughs> it's a wheel of a toy car. Dear me, I sometimes wonder how my mind works, but anyway, that's what I used for that. Um, and I did use some silver, some silver there, that was a, a bottle top. So that's basically the, the mixed media cover I made. At the moment, I've been tying it with some, oh sorry, blowing it, sorry. with some ribbon. But I, I might sort out a, a proper closure for it. And I have some stickers that my daughter also bought me. Butterfly tile stickers. They're lovely. And I think I might put some, at least round the flap, I think, to give it a, a, a bit of decoration. So I'm hoping to use this to keep certain bits and pieces in. I am definitely going to make some more, so when I have I'll show you those. And I've got an idea for making one with some DL size envelopes, but I'm going to make those envelopes myself. So they won't be plain inside, they'll be decorative. So I'll show you that one as well when I eventually get round to doing it. So. Thank you for watching everybody. If you've enjoyed watching this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And it'd be nice if you'd leave me a comment. I do reply to all comments. So thank you everybody for watching. Bye bye.